What is up guys, in this video we're gonna make a cool UK Garage chord sound in Serum. This is how it's gonna sound. Ready? Let's jump straight into the project. Okay, so if you want to get hands on this preset, you can get it on my membership site via the link in the description down below. Here you can also download a lot of other sounds and other serum presets as well. Okay, so these are the chords that we're gonna use for the example in this tutorial. You can just pause the video and copy the chords in your own project. Okay, so we load up serum, we go to oscillator A, we're gonna go to digital, we're gonna select this anti-stasis one, we're gonna put this to minus one octave, Put the unison to 5, put down the detune to around here. Then we're going to set the wavetable position to around here. And we're going to put up the level. Then we navigate to oscillator B. And here we select on the digital. We go and select FFT at seconds. And we're going to set this to plus 7 in the semitone. And we're put, going to put up the unison to 4. And put the detune down again. And for the wavetable position, we're going to set this to around here. I think around here. It sounds a little bit weird, but we're going to make it sound better when we're going to enable the filter. So as you might see, the level is going pretty much in the red. So we're going to turn down the master. We're going to add a compressor and some stuff later on to turn up the volume. So we go to the filter now and we select the MG Low 24 and set the filter cutoff to around here and enable it for both oscillator A and B. Then we want to add a little bit of drive. So put the drive to around here and also add some fat. But now we have added some drive and some fat and it's gonna turn up the volume of the sound. So we have to turn uh, the output gain down a little bit. And one cool nifty trick is that you can press the mix knob here under the filter settings, and now it actually acts as a level knob instead. So we can just turn this down a little bit. Next, we're gonna navigate down to envelope one. And we're gonna create a simple envelope shape like this with a little bit of release and tail. Then we're gonna navigate to envelope two. Here we want to have like a really sharp and pluggy envelope which we're gonna assign to the cutoff. So we get like some kind of a plucky sound. And I actually want to add a little bit of attack to the sound. Okay, we're gonna go back into oscillator B and change the wavetable position a little bit. So we're gonna set it to around here instead. Yes, okay, so now we want to add some extra modulation to these sounds. So we're gonna go to LFO1 and we're gonna create a shape like this. This doesn't matter that much how we're gonna, gonna draw it because we want to put this to unsync mode. So turn off the BPM, put the rate down to around here. So what we basically want this to do is that we want Alpha 1 to modulate the wavetable position of oscillator A. But it's just gonna be a really, really tiny amount. So we just get some random changes over time. So the sound is not gonna be the exactly the same every time the note hits. So you can see the, the wavetable of oscillator A is actually moving, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna add some really crazy modulation to these sounds. So we're gonna go to LFO2. We're gonna create some weird shape again, put it out of sync to around, right to around here. Then we're gonna enable this for the cutoff the filter. Also gonna add a little bit of resonance. So we get something like this. Might sound a little bit weird, but what we're gonna do now is that we want LFO3 to modulate the rate of LFO2. So we're gonna go to LFO3 and we're gonna create like a shape, something like this. Put the rate down, 
and then we're going to go to matrix and we're going to go to source select l for free and go to the destination and select the rate of l for two i'm going to turn this up now we get something like this So you get like this kind of wobbly, fast filtered effect. You should try to play around with the rate of L4-3, also the amount here in the modulation matrix. Also remember to put this to uh, one way, so the automation is being applied the right way. So we can go back here and try to play a little bit around with these settings. Pretty cool. Okay, so we want to add a little bit more extra modulation to these sounds. So we're going to go to matrix and we're going to enable the note on random one for source. And we're going to use it for oscillator B. We're going to use it for the wavetable position here. So that means every time the note hits, some random mod modulation amount is going to be applied to the wavetable position of oscillator B. So we can crank this up a little bit and then we can visually see here that it's changing. Also a really great way to add some changes to the sound over time. Okay, so one thing that we can do, because we have added some detune and a lot of unison to these sounds, then the sound is going to be a little bit, maybe too stereo spread. One way that we can control this in, in Serum is that we can go to the global tab. We can go to the unison tab here and just decrease the width of the unison for both oscillators. I like to put them at around 50 because then I get a little bit more a narrow sound, so it's not being too spread and maybe causing some facing issues. Okay, I know you're enjoying this video right now, but I really need your help. Only 14% of you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel, so do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button for more awesome tutorials. That's all, thank you so much. Now let's get back to the video. Now we're ready to go to the effects. So we start by adding distortion. I like to use tape saturation, cranking up the drive a little bit, and then just reducing the mix. I don't want to have too much of this effect going on. Just a little bit. Next, I want the flanger. And I think I'm just gonna use the basic initial settings. Just to add a little bit more movement to the sound. Next, we add a delay, put this to ping pong mode, create a shape like this. I'm going to turn down the feedback a little bit. And we're going to change the left to 1 8th and we're going to change the right to 1 16th. Turn down the mix. Now we have something like this. Kind of actually turn up the master volume a little bit. Okay, now we can also add a compressor. And I just want to have a tiny amount of gain reduction. So something like this. And then the last effect I want to add here is just an EQ. Because I don't want this to be occupying the, like, the, the lower frequencies. I want to have a bass instead. I'm just going to add a high pass filter at around here. And then I'm going to add a bell curve at maybe 2000 hertz and just increasing the volume just to bring forth those like mid harmonies mid frequencies that's pretty nice and now because we have boosted some of these frequencies with the eq i could see that there are some areas that it was going into the red so just reducing the master volume a little bit sounding really amazing and it has so much movement to it okay so now i will actually go and route this to a mixer bus and the only thing that i'm gonna add is 
some EQ. This is basically just moving some low end. And this is basically just to control if there were any like generated low frequencies. Then this also 9 imager is just to check the stereo information. Just to make sure that we are not being like having a too spread out sound. And then lastly, just some side chaining. Just to make the sound dock accordingly to the a kick drum that I have just added for a small beat idea. So let's just listen to the track in a context with some bass line and some drums. So yeah, that's the sound that we have created today. Okay, I think the sound turned out pretty nice, in my opinion. I hope you liked it as well. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Remember, if you want to get access to this serum preset, you can go and find it on my membership site. The link is in the description down below. If you liked the video, it means so much to me if you would smash that like button or even subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for some sound inspiration, I have some serum preset packs and sample packs on my web shop. The link is also in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, peace.